Thank you very much, Paul and Pat. And we could see more of that because remember from all the rain that we have seen, uh, the soil is wet and then you get these very strong winds that could very well take down trees just like we saw. Uh, we still have some snow coming down. Uh, take a look at Big Bear where the rain and snow is coming down as well as in Ventura County. Keep in mind we could see some black ice uh, right along the grapevine tonight, so it could be a dangerous situation. But the big weather story behind the storm system that passed through earlier this morning are the winds. Take a look. We've got high wind warnings in effect through 7 a.m. tomorrow. Gusts up to 65 miles an hour. I'll have more on that and the rest of your forecast coming up back to you. No, uh, that's definitely uh, the biggest weather story after the storm system moved through. We still have some showers and some snow coming down, but again, uh, the wind, you can see what it's doing to this tree in Westwood out there. It doesn't look too bad just yet, but uh, those winds will continue to strengthen. I just talked to the National Weather Service. They're starting to get in those higher gusts. Uh, I'll show you the latest gusts that we've got going on in just a moment, but of course, we want to start with the radar and just show you that the rain and the snow continues to come down. Uh, we're worried about black ice right along the gray fine overnight tonight through tomorrow morning and of course uh, we still have the snow and then you've got the snow and blowing snow making for low visibility on the roadway so the frontal system has pushed on out behind it those very strong winds so we'll break down these high wind warnings and watch us starting of course with the warning that will last through 7 a.m tomorrow and again these winds will be the strongest tonight through tomorrow morning uh, where winds could gust up to 65 miles an hour uh, again sustained winds could be right around 45 miles an hour. So very dangerous situation again with the trees and the wet soil. So again, uh, be very careful out there. We've got wind advisories for practically the rest of the Southland uh, that are not under the high wind warnings. We've got wind advisories in effect through Wednesday as well, where winds could gust up to 45 miles an hour. Uh, we've got sustained winds right now anywhere from 29 miles an hour. Again, these are sustained in Santa Clarita, uh, Burbank 22, 28 Apple Valley, 26 in Lancaster, the winds are we're coming in out of the northwest now shifting a little more out of the north and eventually the northeast by tomorrow. Uh, look along the coast even from Oxnard to Santa Monica to Long Beach. The winds are very strong. So the latest and wind gusts uh, take us anywhere from 31 miles an hour in Burbank, uh, Malibu Hills, 46 miles an hour, 48 miles an hour, Santa Monica. Uh, we're looking at 49 in Saga. So again, these are just some of the readings. We've got some stronger readings coming in right now. Uh, I'll keep you updated with the latest and not only is it windy, but very cold, uh, freezing temperatures tonight in many areas. So again, temperatures are very cold out there. I just wanted to show you a couple of the coldest spots. Uh, teens in Big Bear, Wrightwood, uh, Lancaster, Ojai into the 20s, areas such as Burbank, Pasadena, uh, cooling down into the 30s tonight. So it's going to be a cold, windy night. That area of low pressure again passing on through. We started off with those northwesterly winds, uh, but then again shifting to the northeast by tomorrow. Let's take a quick look at your extended forecast and you can see, although we have sunny skies tomorrow, highs only 58 in the valleys. Uh, warmer on Thursday, but again, we're going to have these very cold, clear nights and then another storm in store by the weekend. Paul, Pat, back to you. Thinking that, but really, <laughs> really is cold and windy out there. It is. And then we've got the wind chill factor on top of it. Uh, we're getting winds now gusting over 50 miles an hour. Remember, in those mountain areas, we could get up to 65 miles an hour. And these are just the sustained winds, of course, where we've got the areas of red and purple that indicates where the strongest winds are right now. Uh, winds basically will be coming out of the north and then shifting out of the north and east. Uh, and, you know, you've got those winds and temperatures down into the 50s, but those overnight lows will drop down into the 30s in many areas. I'll tell you if we'll warm up anytime soon coming up at 6.